Is this worth about $50? Let's figure that out next. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Corner. It's me, Jeff. I'm glad to have you here. This time around, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, 3D pr printing versus uh, OME parts, official manufacturer parts, right? Or OME, official manufacturer's equipment, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, so this comes about because, as I say um, at the intro, it's this little piece here um, is like 49, 47 something. I'll show you that a little bit further in the video, but um, versus what we can make with our 3D printers. So um, I have a friend who has a restaurant, has an ice cream cooler, and these little slider tabs on the side here kept breaking on him after so many years. So he's down to very little, and when he opens and closes the lid, they kind of jam and get stuck and stuff. So he was looking for a solution. Um, he wanted to replace the parts, he looked around for it, and I'll um, show you this right now. So here we go, here's the said ice cream cooler. You see this is the original part here, which is just a simple guide rail that the door slides on and off with. And what we need to do is we need to model it and replace it, because you see the rivets here, it's broken off, it's starting to cause a problem. So we're going to make a couple of these, we're going to see what we can do. So this ice cream cooler is a true brand ice cream cooler. Took the picture off of the side and we started to do some searching and stuff like that. And we ended up finding the actual OEM part. Now here it is, it's this little sucker here. They have seven available. The units are each and the price Canadian is $48. $48 for a tiny piece of plastic. It's gray ABS plastic pretty common printable material. I will probably end up printing this in PETG. Um, it even looks like they have a bit of the specs here. Uh, 40, cent or 40 millimeters by 7.6 by 50 millimeters, 76. So yeah, so we're going to give this a crack here. We're going to see, um, we're going to fabricate some of these. Now he needs six of these, I think right now. So what I'll probably do is I'll print six and then uh, print him another six for spares because I think the whole cooler has eight. Um, so I'm going to go into fusion. I'm going to model these $48 each little baby pieces of plastic, but they're official equipment manufacturer part, right? So yeah, let's uh, have a look, see what we can do. So I took a photo or two and put it into the photo app with a ruler beside it so I can kind of get a measurement and I'm going to kind of try and scale all this stuff right now just to make it a little bit easier as a canvas to import. So I'm just going to crop the photo a little bit and get it to the point where it's kind of level. As you can see, it's a bit on an angle, so I just need to tilt it slightly just like this on the skew thing here. And now it's pretty much straight. So it's gonna give me a good um, starting point for Fusion. So I'll save a copy of that and I'll go into Fusion. So in Fusion, I'm simply just gonna import my canvas, which would be that picture. I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna adjust the canvas size. I'm gonna try and get it a little bit centered on the, um, the green line there, just to make my job a little bit easier. But basically, yeah, I'm going to uh, import the canvas, which is this photo here. Then we're going to scale the canvas. Once we scale the canvas, then we're going to do a sketch. And I am, as I say, still cutting my teeth on Fusion. So you guys are going to know that, you know, I'm not doing this perfectly whatsoever, but I'm going to get the job done. Um, once I have the sketch done and everything kind of equal, I'm going to extrude it. Uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm not going to do any... Um, champers or any fillets or anything like that. I just want a bare basic block, but I think where the rivets are at the end, we're going to use screws. So I'm going to make a little bit bigger in diameter, a little bit fatter, just to kind of hold it. Because if you noticed when in the ice cream cooler picture itself, it's just breaking where the rivets are. So I think we're just going to reinforce that a little bit. So after all it's said and done, I think I'm going to have a pretty decent little picture here. And this is what my end result is going to be. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it now. And once I export the mesh, I'm going to go ahead and try and print it. Now we'll see how that comes out. 
So I'm going to use my KP3S to print this. It's a nice little small printer with a 180 by 180 bed. Um, I haven't really tried to print ABS or PETG on it, but I'm going to give this a whirl with the PETG. Um, so this is one clip that's imported here, the ice cream lid guides. So I'm going to slice it right now. And this is just with the default settings, the generic and the draft and stuff like that. But 0 0.3 cents of filament. Oh, hang on. That's 20% infill. Let's go 100% infill because we're going to make it as strong as possible. Uh-oh. 0 0.3 cents for the cost. Oh, dear. What's my filament price at a roll here? Uh... 27.82. So that's average, I would say, right? So um, let's. Uh, so I wanted to do about six of these, right? Sixteen cents. Sixteen cents, folks. That's how much this is going to cost to print. So finished printing and the KP3S did a good job, but you notice it's a little stringy. I think my filament was wet, so I'm gonna dry it and do it again because three cents, these ones can be the spares. I'll do a good set to put on the cooler. So, so here's our original. And here's our installed modified one that we just 3D printed. That's one, two 3D printed, three, that's an original. There's four. That's a modified one. That's the yummy ice cream. That's modified too. So what was my count? One, two, three, four, and five, and six right over here. And there's the original of the last one. So not bad for 3D printing. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. The power of 3D printing. Like, Six of these would have been close to, what, $300? $300 for a little tiny piece of plastic like this. Um, now, as we go forward in life um, with the pandemic that we just are getting to the tail end of, with supply costs rising and shipping and transportation, just ongoing challenges, all these prices for parts like this are going to go higher and higher and higher. So, you know what? 3D printing, additive manufacturing, stopgap manufacturing, I like to call it. It's like, you know, the little things that you can get by on. But something like this, I have a feeling these are probably going to last just as long as the original ones did. You know, this was very helpful to the person who I was doing with small business that was trying to, you know, survive and had some tough times over the past year. So I didn't even charge them. I, well, I got ice cream. <laughs> but, you know, um, I think that it was just a really cool little project so i got to model in 360 which is something i'm learning and something i'm enjoying doing and i got to print something in filament which i love doing so you know i was over the moon to do this right it was great i helped somebody out i got free ice cream and i saved somebody possibly an absorbent amount for a tiny tiny little piece of plastic so yeah um if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've had a similar experience or anything, leave it in the comments below. Um, if you're running through the channel for the first time or whatever time, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And until next time, um, keep making some interesting stuff, right, guys? All right, take care. Bye.